Entity Relationship Diagram Presented by Good for College Previously in Good for College Hi! In the previous class, we learned that a conceptual model is composed of three elements, entities, attributes, and relationships. Today, we will learn how to represent a conceptual model using an entity relationship diagram. It is important to note that there are different types of notation that can be used to draw an entity relationship diagram. In this class, we will use crow's foot notation, which is one of the most used notations in data modeling. Let's start by understanding how the elements are represented in this notation. In crow's foot notation, an entity will be represented by a box, with the name of the entity on the first section of the box. The attributes will be listed in the second section of the box. To mark the attribute that acts as an identifier, an asterisk is used at the front of the attribute. The relationship is represented by a line, which illustrates the association between two entities. To complete the relationship, cardinalities are applied. Cardinalities represent the maximum and minimum number of times which the instance of an entity can be associated with an instance in the connected entity. The cardinalities are represented in the following manner. 0 to 1 1 to 1 0 to many 1 to many The minimum cardinality can be 0, represented by circle, or 1, represented by a vertical bar. The maximum cardinality can be 1, represented by a vertical bar, or many, represented by a crow's foot. Because of the representation of the many cardinality, this notation is called crow's foot. To better understand, let's draw a diagram for the example of the previous class. Remembering that we have two entities, car and owner. These entities will now be represented by a box. Once the entities are defined, we will describe the attributes of each one. Car has ID, make, model, engine, color, and on where has ID, name, address, phone, birthday. The attributes are entered in the second section of the box and the ID is marked with an asterisk. The final part of our diagram is relationships. Reminding that the business rules of the system determine that an owner can have one car or many cars. A car can have one owner or may still don't have one. This diagram is how a conceptual model is represented in an entity relationship diagram using crow's foot notation. Now that you have started to learn how to draw an entity relationship diagram, you are ready for the next class, in which we will improve it using data types. See you soon.